Today we are going to open some mail together. I got some mail from Princess. I want to show it to you and let you know how you can get some too. Also, we've got big updates from some airlines, some changes, some destinations that they are adding to their roster so that it opens up the world a little bit more for you and lets you know what's available, not only to embark on a cruise, but also to do some exploring on your own. We're going to talk about uh, Holland America has released a bunch of their 2025-2026 sailings, as well as more places that you can go on cruise ships than ever before and a port that is opening for more business. They actually want more cruise ships to come. So I'm really excited to share everything with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Monday, it is February 5th of 2024. We are going to do our live tonight. We're going to start at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So come and bring your questions and be ready to have a fun time talking all about cruising. Let's start at the top with my princess mail. My princess mail here, it came in the mail. And you might remember back in the day when we used to get multiple flyers, multiple booklets a year from lots of cruise lines. If you were interested at all with cruising, if you went on a cruise with them, they would send you lots more to try to keep you interested and in booking with them. But that has kind of gone away. And so I was really excited to get this in the mail. So I'm gonna open it here and show you what it is. And then I'm gonna tell you how you can get some. It's just really exciting. To me to I like still to look at things so the one that princess has that you can ask for right now is their Alaska booklet it's nice and thick and I think it's a lot of fun just to look through you get a lot of pictures you get the itineraries um, they tell you things about their cruise tours um, the onboard experience this is really a good booklet like here's round trip San Francisco they're going to talk about where they sail from where they go all of the things so um, I really was happy to get this so I thought I would tell you that if you would like one like this, if you go to princess.com, scroll clear to the bottom of the page, and you know they have those columns of things you can click on. In the second column from the left, uh, the very bottom of that column, it says free brochure. They also have one that you can download. So this was one though that you can put in your information and request and they'll send it to you. And I would say this probably took a couple of weeks from when I did that. Um, I was starting to wonder if it was gonna come and then it came. So if you are someone that really enjoys looking at things this way that's a good idea not all of the cruise lines still print their brochures though so I thought it was really kind of fun to come across one that princess still did and let me know do you automatically get brochures I know that Viking um, from hearing from people does a really good job of mailing out um, lots of PR material so that you can keep up to date with Viking that way. So let me know, and let me know, do you like to get the paper booklets and pamphlets and everything in the mail? Or are you someone that just thoroughly enjoys looking only online? Let me know what you think. I just thought that would be kind of fun to do together. Now a few updates. Wanted to let you know that um, the Scottish port there, Aberdeen, Scotland, so as you look at the map of Scotland, it is up in the north um, east side of Scotland up there, and um, they have a cruise port there. It's right at the mouth of the River Dee. It's very nicely situated. It's a nice deep harbor, so a lot of the cruise ships in the world can come. Not quite Icon of the Seas. I was looking at how long Icon of the Seas is and how long um, their pier is there, the longest ship that they can accommodate. And um, interestingly enough, they can accommodate ships that are up to 985 feet in length, and that Icon of the Seas is 1,000 um, I wrote it down here, 1,196 feet long. But I'm really excited about this. Um, we're having our group cruise for the British Isles. We're going on the Regal Princess on June 8th, and we've got a couple of spots left if you would like to join us. But um, we're going to a lot of ports there, but we are not stopping in Aberdeen, and I would really like to do that someday. So it makes me really excited when we hear a new port opening up um, for more tourism, for more cruise ships to call. So Aberdeen is one of those. Another really important thing that I like to keep track of is different places that you can go in the world on a cruise ship. 
that historically we haven't been able to do, or at least not do very much. Now, um, when they announced that they were having to reroute some of the world cruises, I told you last week about uh, the updated itinerary that Holland America was putting forth on there instead of going over to the Eastern Mediterranean, over to the Israel and Jordan and all of those parts. And Holland America did an excellent job with rerouting there, stopping at several places there on the western side of Africa. Well, Norwegian has historically, they have had a couple of times that they have offered very limited cruises that would call in parts there in Africa. And I'm really excited that they have announced that they are going to be calling um, for their 2024 season, they are going to still be calling at some ports there in Africa. So they are going to have two different ports that people can um, disembark, uh, sorry, embark on a cruise there in Africa. The two ports are going to be in Cape Town, South Africa, and Port Louis in Mauritius. So two ports, and they are going to go to stops in several places there in Africa. And a couple of them I recognize as places that Holland America is going to stop. And um, I love that they point out. So if you are a wildlife enthusiast, as well as someone that just wants to experience Africa, these are a really good idea, especially if you don't want to just fly in. Like you can fly into South Africa and do go on a safari there. And if you do want to do a safari though, it's really important to think about what you want to see because that would dictate like where you're going to go. If you just want to do a really quick one, you can fly in and out of, out of Cape Town, South Africa and, and do that in a week. It's much shorter and a very much different experience than if you go um, further up in Africa and um, yeah just so much to think about so anyway these are really good jumping off points to see some things though wildlife as well as the culture there so um, the Norwegian Dawn is the ship that's going to be doing this and they are going to be doing these 12 day round trips um, to South Africa and Namibia they are going to range from February 1st so it's already started through March 8th of 2024 they're going to call in Mosul Bay and Durban in South Africa Luderitz and Walvis Bay in Namibia and then they are going to also at the end of that season they are going to take the ship from Cape Town up to Barcelona. So that'd be kind of a fun cruise to be on as well. But I just wanted to put these things on your radar because they are also going to go to Angola, um, the Ivory Coast, Gambia, um, Senegal, um, really exciting places. And sometimes, and the, some of these are brand new. Norwegian has never been to them before and you don't see them on most cruise itineraries. So if you've got flexibility, and then we'll keep our eye for what um, Norwegian announces for 2025 to go to that region as well. It's important to keep up. There's lots of uh, cruise lines announcing their different itineraries. And Holland America has just announced their Australia New Zealand for 2025 and 2026. So that season, because remember, um, down under there in New Zealand and Australia, their summertime is, is wintertime here in the Northern Hemisphere. So the 2025 2026 season um, catches the end of 25 and the beginning of 2026. And um, let me tell you, I really like what Holland America is doing. We need, Gordon and I need to try one of these out. It might have to wait until he can retire, but um, they have these new collector voyages and what they are doing is combining like they're calling them collector voyages but what they're doing is taking like these two week cruises and adding it on to one of the like legendary voyages so kind of think about that the legendary voyages are amazing that Holland America offers and so when you think of being able to link a two week cruise on to one of those it becomes an even more spectacular situation so I thought I would let you know um, they are going to have they've got like an Australia and New Zealand so think of this if you don't want to fly okay so they've got an Australia and New Zealand um, a 14 day sailing that is between Sydney and Auckland and uh, you get to stop in Australia Tasmania and New Zealand on that cruise they've also got um, a 14 day round trip from Sydney that is going to um, call in ports clearly in Australia and New Zealand. Also, um, a South Australia Discovery Holiday, that is also a round trip from Sydney. 
So think of these though here. Here we go on the ones that you don't have to fly. So they've got a 41 day South Pacific crossing in New Zealand. So that is gonna take you from Seattle, Washington to Auckland. Okay, so that would get you down there. Then, and that goes on October 12th of 2025, okay? Then there's a New Zealand and South Australia discovery. That's round trip from Sydney. That goes in December of 2025. A 42 day South Australia and South Pacific Islands. That one is from Sydney to Auckland. A 40 day, 42 day South Pacific Islands and New Zealand. That goes in January of 2026. And then if you would just like to spend that whole season down in, in you know, going with Australia and New Zealand, then on March 1st of 2026, you can come back from Auckland to Seattle. So it kind of opens up the world an awful lot there for people that don't want to fly. If you've got the flexibility, the time, and can afford to go down on a cruise, stay there, really see that region in depth, and then come back on March 1st, you are set. And if not, there are really, really excellent voyages that would be worth your time to fly down and um, stay for. So lots to think about. And if you need help with that, just send me an email and I'm delighted to do that with you. Another fun update here is Cunard. Cunard has a sale that has already started, but it is going to end on February 12th. And they are offering discounts on sailings on all of their ships. And it's really across a whole lot of their different itineraries. So when you think about it, they've got the Queen Mary II, the Queen Victoria, the Queen Elizabeth, and the brand new Queen Anne. And this, um, the sale that they are currently offering for the discounts includes like some Alaska sailings, the Caribbean, some sailings in Europe, as well as some of those transatlantic sailings that Cunard is so well known for. So if you're looking to try Cunard, this might be a really good time to do it. Now, and um, so like I said, like I always say, if you need any help with that, let me know and I'm delighted to help you. Just send me an email at letsgotraveltips at gmail.com, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, will you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button? Alrighty, and then these airlines. We've got some airlines that are adding new itineraries, new destinations, and I picked the ones, I don't tell you all of them, airlines are changing where they fly all of the time, but these are ones that really stand out to me. So American Airlines is adding the longest flight out of everywhere that American flies. They're going to fly from Dallas down to Brisbane, Australia. Um, it's a 17 hour flight. And so if you don't like to fly that long, I would say you're gonna just have to plan to get up, walk around the cabin a lot, bring things, you know, watch videos, bring a book to read, whatever it is. But I thought it was really exciting. American Airlines is going to go from Dallas to Brisbane round trip. And, and this is just a really quick update for Delta Airlines. They have started flying to Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic, Barbados, um, Mazatlan, Mexico, and Curacao or Curacao. I've heard it pronounced both ways. But those flights are already going and they do them through different hubs. A lot of them like through New York, Atlanta, and Minneapolis is pretty much where you're going to have to connect through to get to those locations. But I just thought I would point it out to everyone. I know that we've got some Let's Go family members that winter in um, some different places and just wanted to put this out there if any of you are looking at going there. So let me know um, anything else you would like me to be talking about here um, on our channel. We try to cover everything that I think is important for you to know to go on a cruise as well as traveling to cruise and uh, to some of those fabulous destinations. So thank you very much for being here with me today and I will see you here here again tomorrow and I'll be talking to you again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.